Hey, GetBox here. I had a lot of people ask me, Eric Dickerson or Saquon Barkley as the best running back in the game. Who should they choose? Who should they go with? So today I want to kind of give my thoughts on each card, give my answer to that question, and I'll get to that at the end. So Eric Dickerson. I did see some people saying, like, oh, glad he came out now instead of later because he get plus stats. I mean, I don't have any sort of boost on it right now with power run, uh, but I could easily get his truck up to 99, break tackle up to 98 with just power run and John Madden coach, but he's got 99 speed, 97 acceleration. You could argue the agility could be a little bit higher, but Dickerson's definitely a downhill forward running running back, something that you want to kind of do in a hard, downward, strong ferocious movement those were the ones i went with him though the, sorry those are the abilities went with him now dickerson his biggest benefit is not only speed you see how he just kind of ran around his defense right there not only speed at 99 but that ability to break the first tackle even when you're tackling the backfield i still was able to make the uh guy uh, like you know get to the line of scrimmage not lose any yards he gets arm bar too which isn't nearly as strong as it was at the beginning of the year that that was nerfed uh quite a while ago actually so the thing about the thing about dickerson right him with the X-Factor is absolutely god tier, as you know, right here. But I hit it like a random stumble somewhere. I just tri tripped over the uh, green of the grass. Um, not impossible to bring down, but pretty damn hard with that X-Factor. Now, that's five runs. How many times will you guys run during a game with Dickerson? Probably, like, if you ever run heavy offense, 20 times plus. So, a quarter of your runs will go with this X-Factor active. Now, if you're, like, a normal, you rotate him out, only five runs with him with the X-Factor active, and, and, and you'll have, like, 15 total runs, maybe then it's a little bit more impactful since 33% of your runs will be with it. But, like, I, I, I think the best way to use this, because he's five plays on the field and off, kind of like how Moss has one play on the field and it's gone, uses x factor something to kind of like distract the defense a little bit like if they're in that blitz seven meta if they're doing that every play throw him in the backfield throw him on like a wheel route because the user's definitely gonna chase it right because he's lit up like a christmas tree so then you throw like a post over the middle you gain a lot of yards that way so not necessarily just the ability for him to break all those tackles right away but for your opponent to focus on him so so hard when you do sub him in for those plays it's kind of crazy so Without the X Factor, though, how was Dickerson? He still gets very good animations. He still falls forward a good amount. That one was kind of weird, right? You saw him get the hit stick with his X Factor active and not break it. But then he, like, makes it up, like, one or two plays later. Or the next play, like that, right? Just break two tackles, touchdown, easy game, easy life. Dickerson is as Dickerson does. So... I love this car with its ability on the field, but I hate this car because it is so good, right? It's like we, we've used this guy, right? We've, we've seen him. We've dominated with him, which is one of the reasons, right? He's just, he's just old, busted. I've already played so many freaking games with him. I'm bored, all right? So, Dickerson's main factor, the issue with him, boring. He's fucking phenomenal otherwise, right? He, he basically brought back the stretch meta on his own. Him and Saquon, I had a couple games this weekend league just with him. The downside is the blocking, right? Watch this on the left side of the field. Duh, whoop! And then he undertakered me. So, it's not that big of a deal. That just happens to all running backs. So, Diggerson. We'll go with the final comparison at the end. Saquon Barkley, here's his stat. So, Saquon chemmed up is better than Dickerson with the straight stats, right? If, if you don't go crazy in a lot of things, I did actually put zone run on him to get the extra run box. There's elusiveness a little bit higher, carrying up a little bit. 97 agility, 99 acceleration is the main difference between Saquon and Dickerson, along with, you know, body size. So, agility. The ability to feel good on the thumbstick going left, right directions, some some feel. Elusiveness, there you see it on the stiff arm. He won't be able to get arm bar like Dickerson, but like I said in the Dickerson portion of this video, arm bar, what are you good for now? Like, he's X-Factor was activated, I threw an arm bar and it destroyed people. But arm bar otherwise right now, it's okay. It doesn't really work that well against users, and a lot of people will click on now, I've seen, but uh, if they do click on, then you got to try and like spin him out. Here are the ones I, the, the abilities I went with Saquon on the field, so you can see him out there. I move him between running back, receiver, everything. Doop! There's a little, there was a little dodge before going into the other one. So, explosive, right? 99 speed is basically cat for both backs, so they're the same. So, it really depends on how you like to, to run your run your offense, right? If you're more of a passing offense, maybe Saquon's there for you, a shotgun offense, because he feels like more of like a, a more uh, hybrid back than him, but he still falls forward like that, right? Takes a hit, falls forward in the end zone, still beautiful, get out there, set your block, and then get around the edge. So, explosive movement, great stuff right there out of Saquon, and that's really the difference, right? Body type, and the acceleration agility. Would I go with that over the X factor? Now, that's a question that I think is based off an individual basis. I say the X factor is way more powerful, but when they're not activated, if you're going to run with the running backs without them, 
I think Saquon's a little bit more my type of back because he's more nimble, be able to like move with the left stick a little bit better um, out of the backfields. That's not saying Dickerson's like any schlub, right? Dickerson's still fucking phenomenal out there. But Saquon, I feel like can do a little bit more than him. So I'm going to run with Saquon going forward. That, and I'm just bored of Dickerson. But like, there is no wrong answer. They're both god tier. Here he is running a streak, outrunning uh, Night Train Lane, X Factored out. But uh, there you go. I'm taking Saquon going forward. But Dickerson is a fucking beast himself. So thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.